Well, we as consumers, we as human beings, we're naturally social animals. And I think we self-select to join in groups of other like-minded people. So what happens in tribalism is that a brand attracts a group of like-minded people. In the mid-90s to early 2000s, when Apple was undergoing turbulence during the years when uh, Steve Jobs wasn't present when he was at Pixar, you know, Apple had a fiercely loyal tribe even in the midst of quite a bit of uncertainty about whether the brand would stick around, whether it would stay true to its core values. And these people, these were creative artisans that stuck around the Apple brand. And these were the lever, if you will, in the future for the entire Think Different campaign and the reinvention of the company around the values those people stuck so closely to. As the consumer culture has grown and developed, we have increasingly uh, found that people's consumption habits naturally tend to put them into tribes with others. Sometimes people with whom they never would have associated before. Uh, people from different uh, cultural, political backgrounds may feel they're completely different and yet if you examine their consumption habits you realize they are in fact part of tribes. You know, a tribe could emerge around you know, a certain product, a certain idea or a certain experience and that feeling of togetherness is you know, a very, very efficient way to drive uh, this notion of uh, you know, saliency and drive conversational capital.